In the intergalactic hall of knowledge, history's greatest minds are brought back to life. Their mission, to spread humanity's knowledge to every corner of the universe, starting with you. Put your hands together and welcome to the stage, direct from the 20th century, the man who puts the fizz into physicist, Albert Einstein! What is time? Would you like to join me on a trip to uncover its mysteries? We'll read clocks of each and every kind, experience the passing of seconds and minutes, and journey into the marvels of my most known work, the theory of relativity. What is puzzling you? You always tell the story of your childhood compass, but you didn't end up working on ma magnetism. What happened? It's flattering that you know that much about me. Yes, yes, you are. You are right. Uh, you see, what happened is that I got introduced to the then groundbreaking work of James Maxwell, who became a great influence on me. You see, Maxwell unified electricity and magnetism in one simple equation, just like my most famous equation, E equals MC squared, unifies energy and mass. So that compass did help, after all. Welcome to the suit vault. Help me earn enough synapto coins to unlock my human hero suit. Uh, hands up! Who has our next question? The Cadence of Clocks! Move the hands around the clock. Keep on turning, don't let them stop. Can you turn night into day? You can do it. Have a play. Let me know when you're ready to start the game. 12.05. 12.15 p.m. In Cape Town, South Africa, a cannon is fired at noon every day to mark the time, a tradition that has been upheld since 1806. Twenty past four in the afternoon. Two p.m. Five to four in the afternoon. Because the world is split into different time zones to account for the setting and rising of the sun, it's possible to travel by plane from one zone to the next and arrive at your destination earlier than you set out. Level 1. O'Clock. The face of a clock is a big circle. The numbers 1 to 12 are written around the outside. With the number 12 at the top, then 1, 2, 3, and so on, clockwise, around the face. Now look at the pointers. They're called hands. 
The short hand is the hour hand. It travels around the face every 12 hours. To read the hour, look where the hour hand is pointing. Let's start by telling the o'clock time. When it's an o'clock time, the long minute hand always reaches straight up to 12. This is 4 o'clock. Remember, the long minute hand always reaches straight up. But where is the hour hand? That's it. It's pointing to 4. So it is 4 o'clock. And this is 6 o'clock. Got it? Your turn. Move the hour hand to 2 o'clock. <laughs> Superb! Move the hour hand to one o'clock. Well done! Move the hour hand to eight o'clock. Wow! Let's check if you've got it. Move the hour hand to six o'clock. Good job! Move the hour hand to five o'clock. You did it! Move the hour hand. Great! Ready to try by yourself? Move the hour hand to eleven o'clock. <laughs> Marvelous! Move the hour hand to 12 o'clock. Nice work! Move the hour hand to 3 o'clock. Keep trying! <laughs> Boosty Zenatu Genesis! Level two, half past. Can you see half of the clock is colored in? The minute hand has traveled halfway round the clock and now points down. That's it, halfway around the clock. The hour hand is halfway past the hour of four. So it is half past four. Now your turn, show me half past two. Now try half past two. Excellent! Let's start with ten o'clock. Now try half past ten. Perfect! Let's start with seven o... Sagacious stage! The sensation of second. This is my stopwatch. It's quite special. It doesn't just measure time, it controls it. Try it while I play with my violin. Lena. Look here at my fantastic clock. Its pendulum is broken. Let's fix it. Tilt the device left and right to swing me further to each side. No need to touch the screen. Move your hands and watch me swing. Ah! Es reicht. That's enough. Genug. Press and hold my pump for the right number of seconds to inflate the balloon. Remember to remove your finger when you think the time is up. Okay, let's play. Touch and hold the pump for three seconds. 
three elephant, two elephant, one elephant, zero. Wonderful! Hump for four, four elephant, three elephant, two elephant, one elephant, zero. You did it! You've got it! Ready to try by yourself? Off you go! Count aloud or in your head. Can you wait four seconds? Terrific! Can you wait five seconds? Way to go! Keep your finger down for six seconds. Wonderful! Can you wait seven seconds? Standing. Keep your finger down for eight seconds. Look at you go! Pump for nine seconds. Good job! Hold for 10 seconds. Way to go! Can you wait? Eleven seconds. Mega Sonato Genesis. So many things to explore. Grab some popcorn and join me. It's showtime! Well, hello again, my fantastic physicists. I always say, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. And for moving objects, everything becomes relative. Which leads me on to one of my finest stories, called on the electrodynamics of moving bodies. Have you met Hans and Edward? They're twins, you know, off on a great space adventure to help us explore the complexities of space and time. Edward is an astronaut, and he's getting ready to zoom to our nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, while Flight Director Hans will remain on planet Earth to direct his brother Edward on his mission. Say goodbye, boys. We have a rocket to launch. Hans needs to prep Mission Control for the pre-launch sequence. Mission Control look like they're ready. Ooh, so many buttons. And look, here's Edward heading towards the rocket. Oh, Excitement of a rocket ride! Quick, let's check and explore the relationship between gravity and time. Can you see the button? 
The longer you hold it down, the more charge you will give it, and the further the lift will travel upwards. Be careful not to charge beyond the green bar. Are you ready? Go! You will need to repeat several times when you see the button. The longer you hold it down, the more charge you will give it, and the further the lift will travel upwards. Be careful not to charge beyond the green bar. Are you ready? Go! Quickly, charge the lift again. You're too close to Earth. Time's running slowly. When lower, pendulum slows down. Lower, slower. When lower, time appears to run slower to us. Time runs slower on Earth. Lower, slower. The clock is showing the effect of gravitational time dilation. Remember, never stop questioning. When higher, time appears to run faster to us. You did it! Edward is now inside the Einstein selfie rocket. Activate main engine. Ready for launch in T minus 10, and onboard computers have full control. 7, 6, main engine activated. 3, 2, 1, and liftoff! Einstein selfie rocket is on its way to Alpha Centauri. Safe journey, Edward. Bon voyage! Wow, what a blast! So much energy, gravity didn't stand a chance. Alpha Centauri is quite a distance from Earth. We'll have to speed up a lot to get there in time. Can you see the distance to Alpha Centauri at the top? We need to get Edward there. Move the spaceship by swiping on this area quickly and repeatedly. You'll have to go as fast as you can, but be careful not to break the laws of physics by reaching the maximum speed of light. Ready to swipe? Give the rocket more velocity. What happens to the clock when the rocket travels too slowly? Speed up the rocket more to... No, 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 no! We've reached a singularity! Time doesn't exist now! <laughs> Sagacious stage! Yahoo! Let's... Whoa! What's this light? Stylastic. Keep on playing. More synaptogenesis. What would you like to know? Why are there 24 hours in a day? An interesting question. It, 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 it was actually the ancient Egyptians who decided we would have 24 hours in a day. We use 24 hours today only because the Egyptian system stuck. Oh no! Still lo Not yet! The regard of relativity! Well, hello again! I don't have enough.